Hey everyone, it's Anna from the For Real YouTube channel. So, you're probably here because you're dealing with a bad IMEI or a blacklisted phone, right? Maybe you've even considered using some sketchy software or paying for a service to fix it. But before you go down that path, I've got some good news for you. There's a much better, safer, and totally free way to get your device back up and running. Stick around, and I'll walk you through the steps that are guaranteed to work, no matter what kind of phone you have. Just a quick reminder. This info is only for people who legally own their device and have just forgotten their access details. We don't support or promote any illegal actions, like breaking into stolen devices. Always respect the law and others' rights. This video follows YouTube's guidelines and community standards. Now let's get started. Now let's talk about some of the services out there that claim to help with removing a blacklisted IMEI. You might have come across Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's the best, totally free, and super quick. Then there's Safe Unlocks, which has been around for a while, offering solid service for just a dollar. And if you're looking for something more specialized, Eason Doctor is known for dealing specifically with IMEI blacklists. But remember, while these services are great options, it's important to know exactly how to use them for the best results. Up next, I'll show you how to make the most out of Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant to get your device back on track. First, open your browser on your phone or computer and navigate to unlockhere.com, which is where you can remove the blacklist from your IMEI. Once the website loads, you'll see Nifty, an AI-powered tool developed by the Unlock Here team. Scroll down a bit and choose the Fix IMEI Blacklist option. Follow the steps provided by the app, starting with selecting the brand of your device. Whether it's a major or medium-sized brand, the app is compatible with most. After that, you'll need to enter your IMEI or serial number. If you're unsure where to find it, simply dial star hashtag 06 hashtag on your phone, and a pop-up will display all your device's information, including the IMEI number. To complete the process, provide your name and email address as your point of contact and agree to the app's terms and conditions. If you have any questions, the site offers resources to guide you. Once your request is processed, you'll receive an email with your unlock details, typically within 5 to 15 minutes. Don't forget to check your spam or promotions folder. After receiving the email, copy the verification code, return to the site and click on Confirm IMEI Unlock. Paste the code, complete the CAPTCHA and press Validate Info and Start Unlock. Nifty will then finalize the unlocking process. If you encounter any issues, live support is available to assist you. And that's it. Nifty, the AI-powered tool, does the heavy lifting from here. The final step is to simply insert a compatible SIM card and restart your device. This process is just a few steps, and before you know it, you'll have successfully removed the blacklist IMEI from your device using unlockhere.com. It's important to know that these unlocking services only work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or prefer not to use them, we offer 250 free unlocks every week for our viewers. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe, and comment your phone model, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've completed these steps, you're automatically entered into the giveaway. All right, guys, here are some more alternative ways to remove an IMEI blacklist from your device. First up, contact, contact your carrier. carrier. Your Sometimes the simplest solution is you the best one. That you own the Reach out to your carrier like and explain your situation. Your if you provide proof that you own the device, out. like a if receipt or any document that shows stolen, you're the legitimate owner, they, they might be able to help you out. If your device was reported lost or stolen and you've managed to recover it, letting the carrier know can sometimes get it removed from the blacklist. Another thing to keep in mind is to check your IMEI status regularly. Blacklists can be updated, and in some cases, devices are removed for various reasons. Using online IMEI status checkers can help you stay on top of your device's status. Lastly, if your device was blacklisted by mistake and you're hitting a wall with the carrier, you might want to consider legal action. This should definitely be your last resort since it can be costly and time-consuming but it's an option if all else fails. Thanks for watching. If this worked for you or if you have any other questions, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. 
Just a quick reminder, these unlock services only work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or prefer not to use them, we offer 250 free unlocks every week for our viewers. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe, and comment your phone model, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've completed these steps, you're automatically entered into the giveaway. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.